it's half past six in the morning and everyone in my household is still asleep. So I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. But I decided to use this early morning time to pack um, some of my art materials for our upcoming holidays in Spain. I'll be taking a sketchbook. I'll be sketching rather than painting. I'm trying to remember the scenes I've been sketching last year. These are the two examples I have to choose what colors and what materials I'm going to take with me. I am actually not taking the sketchbook because it is quite heavy and still quite big. I recently purchased this sketchbook, which is a lot lighter and also has a lovely paper that is suitable with the use of gouache, which I'm recently using more and more of. And I decided to take this one instead. It's a nice format, it's a square, but I can use it as a landscape when I'm using the two pages as a spread. So I like it a lot and this one is coming with me, not this one. I mentioned gouache, I am going to take a risk and take this dry gouache with me. This is Winsor & Newton designer gouache, traditional gouache. You might wonder what this ugly thing here is. This is actually a cut out of a uh, washing up sponge. I stick it here because as you can see, it helps me to clean my brush. So it serves like a brush cleaner, but it's also moist. And what it is, this is not a stay wet palette. It's not sealed. So if I leave these paints without spraying them from time to time with water, they will dry up completely, crack and eventually crumble. That's why I probably am going to take this bottle with me and I plan to spray these paints from time to time. I'm going to be using them, so hopefully they will last. But this is going to be a real test because obviously Spain is a very hot country, especially in the summer. So we'll see how this goes. I'll let you know and I'll update you in my future videos. I'm not going to even bother cleaning this, uh, to be honest with you. I don't mind getting my colors a bit dirty. This is just for a quick sketches. So I'm just going to take this with me as well, which is quite portable. I'm going to try to pack into this pencil case for by Derwent. I really like it because it's got a clear pocket here and I put my pencils in here and I can quickly grab the color I need. So I, this thing normally goes in here. As I mentioned before in one of my videos, I don't take any special brushes on those type of trips. I usually take just the water brushes and these are by Pentel. I had them for a long time. I used them with my watercolors before and they're absolutely fine. Most of the time I use this big one. Sometimes I use this little one and I just thought it was nice to have a spare one. I need to take a sharpener because I'm planning to take some of my color pencils. So I'm going to put this one in as well. And I need a paper clip because although this is quite small, it can be quite windy on the beach. And it's nice to clip my pages when I'm waiting for the paint to dry and I want to put it aside. It's just handy to have at least one of these. This one is very small, so it will fit in here nicely. Now, in terms of other materials, I really wanted to take my Neo Color to um, crayons. I love them, and I actually even selected some of the colors that I use the most. But this is quite heavy. This is a metal tin, and the crayons themselves, they are actually quite heavy because they wax crayon. I decided this is not very practical, especially that I already have the gouache and I decided to take something else instead. So although I really love them, I still don't think I'm going to miss them too much. And in case this gouache doesn't work in a hot weather, I decided to take some of these colors. I have 12 of these. These are the Zig Clean Color Real Brush by Kurotaki. Japanese watercolor markers and like the name says they have a little brush ending which is very small but it's suitable for my little um, sketchbook so this color I am definitely going to be taking this is the kind of like a 
sepia brown color. I am going to take this green, even though it's quite bright, but I think I need at least one green. I am going, not going to take another green. I like the orange. I don't think I'm going to use red, so I'm going to put it aside. This pink is extremely bright, so I also am not going to take this one with me, but I'm going to take this very light lilac in case I'm painting any flowers. I think I need to take yellow sand i guess and definitely the blues i am not taking black color but i will take this light gray it's lovely perfect for sketching so i'm taking these with me as well now i still have space left in terms of pencil i'm just gonna take this mechanicals pencil it's probably my favorite one it's got a little tiny eraser here which can come in handy if i decide to erase anything so I'm going to take this one. I don't have to sharpen this one. It's just quite good. I take one ink pen. This is by Faber-Castell and it's actually in dark sepia. It's a little bit softer than a black liner. And I will also take this jelly roll because I just love it. And I think I just love adding details at the end with this pen. <laughs> I'm addicted to it, so I'm taking this as well. And now onto the color pencils. I did some swatches in the sketchbook here at the beginning, and I tested different pencils that I have. Most of the time I use either Derwent Inktense or the Polychromos. These are my two largest sets. But obviously I don't want to take all of them. And on this particular paper in this sketchbook, I noticed that the polychromos just glide better. The Derwent tends to be a little bit sticky. And I just, I think I prefer to have a nice, easy, bright pencil that is just easy to put down quickly. So this is what I'm taking. And again, I'm just going to take a few of the neutral colors, um, something like this. Um, I think I'm going to take these bright sort of yellow slash orange. I'm thinking warm colors and some blues because that's what usually, I love this blue for the skies and I think I might take an, another blue, maybe darker, just I'm not sure about this. I might take these because they also kind of a color of the sea, so they might come in handy. It's nice to have a lighter colors as well as the dark ones. They actually work very well on the top of gouache, even though the color is lighter than the base color. So I think I like this. I'm trying to think of colors that I might be using there. I think that's the key. Um, I think I might take one green and I'm not sure now. Maybe instead of this blue, I'll take the darker one. I don't want to take too many pencils because I mainly use them for adding details at the end. And even if I'm sketching with them, like I said, sometimes less is more. And I am actually more creative with less colors and materials than when I have the whole case of them. So I think I'm gonna stop here, actually. I don't think I'm gonna take more. I'm still tempted with this one. I might take this one because maybe this is what I might need. So I'll take this one as well. And I think this is it. So let's put it inside and see if I can actually close it. It zips quite well and I can zip this one too. Oh, don't forget the paper towel. So this is um, useful for painting. One sheet probably not going to be enough, but for now, just to have one. And um, let's see if I can close it. Yeah, it closes quite well. And uh, just checking the weight of it. I don't think this is heavier than a bag of dried pasta, so around 500 grams, I think. So I'm going to take these. Like I said, I'm glad I eliminated the other heavy materials, even though I'm very sorry to leave it behind. 
but I think this is going to be just perfect for this trip. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. I'll be reporting back from my trip. If you follow me on Instagram, I will have uh, regular updates in my stories. And at the end, of course, I'm going to try to comply a video from the trip. I hope you have a lovely summer holidays and happy sketching.